Parkinson for Power 92.3. Tonight is the night. The time everyone's been talking about, everyone's been asking us when we're going to the insane asylum in Bartonville. Well, we're here tonight. If you can see behind me, the, uh, the insane asylum's here. Started in 1902, ran all the way through 1973, and the stories of the things that actually took place inside of this structure behind us and all of the 47 buildings that are located on the property is just phenomenal. We're definitely going to pick up some paranormal activity here tonight. I can feel it. Tonight, we're not going inside the main building because it's off limits to the public. We are, however, we did get special permission to go inside of the infirmary, which is one of the 47 buildings where all kinds of crazy things were done to patients that, here, that, were, uh, that were here back in the, uh, from 1902 to 1973. So if you'll join me on this journey, I'm totally excited. The Illinois Ghost Seekers are here setting up tonight, and we're going to investigate some ghosts. Let's do it. All right, so we're inside the infirmary with John Collier. And John, you're the director of the haunted house that's going on here. Now, you may not know this, but they've actually taken the infirmary this year and turned it into a haunted house. And it's a legitimately haunted house. Yes, it is. Uh, because of the actual paranormal activity that exists in this building. Yes. So tell me a little bit about the back history of, of the infirmary, which is one of the 47 buildings that we're in tonight. Uh, this building was originally the Pollock Hospital. Okay. Uh, it, they started building it in 49, it opened in 51. Um, it was open until they closed the entire state hospital until 73. So in 22 years, uh, it was the TB ward for tuberculosis mm. patients. So you checked in, everybody passed away that came through these doors. Wow. Um, estimates have it over 4,000 people. Over 4,000 people died here. Yes. Crazy. Three to five a week for 22 years. That is crazy. Yes. So, have you had any personal experiences Several. while you've been setting up here for the for the haunted house? Several. We've heard footsteps. Um, had someone run their hand through my hair. Um, when the paranormal group was here a few weeks ago, um, had someone whisper my name in my ear. Oh my gosh! Uh, they caught that on tape, actually. Did they pronounce your last name correctly? Uh, just my first name. Oh, John. Okay. 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 I didn't, okay. I didn't try the last. Good. Name. Uh, but yes, myself and a lot of the volunteers that have been here have had a lot of experiences up here. Wow, crazy. Well, I'm excited to get started, if you are. Oh, I yes. know that the Illinois Ghost Seekers are here tonight setting up their cameras, so we're going to check out some of that equipment, and um, we're going to see if we can find some paranormal activity. I hope we do. Boom! We're getting ready to actually investigate the infirmary. You guys have set up everything, right? I mean, you've got cameras in, in all kinds of rooms and equipment out and, and ready to go, right? Yeah, correct. Okay, so... You've investigated this place before. We're, we're new coming into this. What, what can we expect tonight? Noises, knocks, voices, uh, a lot. I've already felt some stuff in the basement, so I'm, I'm pretty creeped out about yes. that. Creepy feelings. All right, so everyone's hands in. You ready? <laughs> Count of three, we're going to say paranormal. Ready? One, two, three. Paranormal! paranormal. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So this is the basement of the infirmary. Now, this is a scary place. Uh, I don't know if you can look around here or not, but it, it is incredibly creepy. They apparently used to keep the bodies of the dead down in this very room. So of the 4,000 people that came through here and died, at one point, once they had passed, they were kept in this room. And in fact, this crawl space leads to tunnels underneath the entire insane asylum. And it all connects back here to the infirmary. And as we were investigating this room a little bit earlier, we found this metal door. I haven't opened it yet, so we don't know what's behind here. Chad, we may need you to go in here first. All right, wait for me. Oh, this is weird. This is like a, like a train. Well, it's got a train. Hey, hey, don't do that. That's not funny. It's got like a, it's got like a drain in here, but it's got like electrical wires ran as well. There we go. 
And uh, so the idea is if if a spirit passes <coughs> through the laser, yeah, it'll cut the. Okay. It'll break the light. Okay, the tripod's going off, and I hear some noises in there. Can you get a temperature reading over my way? Does anybody have a? It's getting cold. Yeah, I think the noises are behind you. Yeah, it's. I'm getting goosebumps already. Just take a temperature reading and see if it keeps dropping. My grandma had TV. It wasn't fun. So I know what it's like. Can you tell us about it? I hear this is where they put all the dead bodies when people passed away. Was there a lot of people down here that had died? Five. Are you serious? I know, I'm serious. So they just asked the spirit how many people were down here right now. And, and the, device, the device clearly said five right on the screen. Um, really, really incredible stuff. Uh, I got goosebumps when I heard it. So we're not sure exactly what we're detecting down here in the basement, but there's definitely uh, definitely some strange feelings going on down here for sure. Um, we may move on to another part of the infirmary and see if there's if there's any other activity. So we moved from the basement up to the men's ward where there's been some other reports of activity. In fact, right here on some of these couches in this room, um, is where John, who we talked to earlier, had somebody whisper in his ear his name. So we'll see if we can find anything out like that uh, during this investigation. We heard that Dr. Zeller had a zoo here. Did you like the zoo? Yeah. Here. Okay, you're here. Are you here? First of all, I just saw a black mass dart from you, and it went swooped down towards the ball. I don't know what that was, but uh, that was interesting. Like a black, like a sh like a figure? Yeah, it was like a black uh, ball or something, and it, it, it was moving very rapidly. It moved from crystal down towards the floor in the direction of the ball. That would have been like right by us. Yes, yes. Even <coughs> right by the uh, couch where you guys are sitting over there. Right next to you. <laughs>decided since everything's decked out for Halloween here I'd go ahead and get into costume as well but if you look around the women's ward itself last time they were here you asked now what was this that you actually what was specifically that, that you asked that we asked if they uh, knew bookbinder or liked bookbinder and bookbinder of course is the is the the old man who used to tend to the graves right right yeah, he was a patient who was couldn't was mute, couldn't talk, couldn't hear. Right. But he could do hard labor, so they let him dig the graves, and he 
cried at every funeral. Now, after you asked if they'd known Bookbinder, what, what response did you get? We got a moan on the recorder. A moan. Some type of a whine moan. Yeah. High-pitched whine moan. It's creepy. It's, it's definitely something going on here. And it's not just my costume. They go on forever. But one stone in particular. Is the stone of Bookbinder. He's the legend here. He's the one that never talked. But tended the, uh, tended the graveyard. Each death he found great sorrow. He wept at each passing tears for the unloved and forgotten. Now, old book, we weep for you. So, the haunted infirmary tonight. Definitely felt a presence in the basement. Oh man, it was scary. That was crazy. In the men's ward and a little bit in the women's ward. Just a, a little bit. There was uh, definitely some creepy activity going on there as well, but. Where are we going to be at next week? You're going to have to watch and find out. It's Paranormal Peoria. We're wrapping up here live in Bartonville from the uh, Insane Asylum. I'm yep. kind of glad we're leaving. Let's check it off our list.